All right, today we're checking out a really cool set of portable night vision binoculars from Yashica Vision. They come in an awesome case. Everything about them seems very high quality. And when I say affordable, we're talking under $200. As well, it's going to record video in 4K, take pictures up to 58 megapixels of resolution. It's got zoom and everything, and it works as daytime binoculars as well. So for some of you, they might be just as handy in the daytime, but then at night, you can light it up just like it is daytime. It has its own infrared illuminator built in, all sorts of adjustments and settings. So in this video, we'll give you an up-close look at the operation, what all the buttons do, the features, and a sample of the daytime and nighttime video. There'll be a link in the description if you want to grab one of these for yourself. This button right here will turn your infrared flashlight on and off. Right here is your master power switch. This button here will switch between modes. This plus button is going to zoom you in and within the menu. It's going to be your up arrow to navigate the menu. As well, the button will act to increase the brightness. This right here is your backlight button. This is your shooting confirmation button and also acts to start and stop your recording. This minus button is going to zoom you out. As well, it will act as down when you're navigating the menu and it also decreases brightness. On the bottom, you can see it's what's called a triple mount, so you can mount this on a tripod. Very cool. We got a giant screen that you're going to be looking at. Right here is the lens, which is what you're actually going to be looking through. This right here is a handy flashlight, and this right here is your infrared illuminator. In the secret compartment right here, we got a micro SD card slot. You'll have to add your own micro SD card. There's a USB interface, so you can plug it in and it'll just look like a hard drive on your computer. When you plug the unit into charge, there will be a charging indicator that turns red. This right here is called an IR cut filter lens, so we'll explain more about that later. We got another super secret reset button. And this right here is your focus ring, it's going to focus your picture. And finally, this large key is your compass. Very cool. So there's a quick start guide that will run you through what you need to know. The backlight button is for if you want your buttons to glow. So you can turn that on and off. According to the surrounding light level, you can press and adjust the three level infrared light in photo and video mode. It's in daylight by default. The OK button is how you select stuff when you're in the menu. There's a photo mode for taking photos, a video mode for recording video. You can change the video resolution from 4K to 1080p, even down to 720. Check out this photo quality, you guys. The photo quality options are 58 megapixels, 40, 30, 25, 20, 10, 8, 5, and 3 megapixels. You can pick any one of those. Very cool. You can adjust your white balance, put your date on there, exposure compensation, auto power off. The video prompt you want to set to off. So the video prompt setting is set on by default. And what that's going to do is record over your old video when your SD card is full. So you want to turn that off. And when it's in the off setting and the micro SD card storage is full, the recording will stop. You can pick how long you want your screen to turn off automatically, set the time, set your language. There's even a timer for taking pictures, two, five, or 10 seconds. Stabilizing mode is off by default. Turning it on effectively prevents the camera from shaking when taking pictures. This can optimize image quality. When this mode is on, there's gonna be a four second delay in taking photos. So this has a playback function so you can play your videos and you can adjust the volume on that. The mic is turned on by default. You can turn that on and off. Key press sound is on by default. You can turn that on and off. And then there's an option to format your SD card or reset your system. This thing looks pretty awesome. Pretty easy to use. The menu is very clear and easy to understand. So yeah, I definitely thought these are pretty cool. They're affordably priced. Easy to use. They work well, obviously. So I think they're a good choice if you're looking for some affordable night vision. The infrared illuminator works great on these. It gives you more than enough light to see pretty far. These are actually available on Kickstarter, so there will be a link in the description. One thing to note is that you can zoom in up to five times on the screen, but when you're recording it, it doesn't actually record zoomed in. But you are recording in 4K, so you can zoom in post-production, no problem. All right, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in. Till next week, happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.